Okay, good morning learners. Uh, today I want us to look at functions and graphs. We are going to be looking at three graphs. This is the standard form of any hyperbola, where in this case p x equals to minus p will give us the equation of the vertical asymptotes and where y equals to q will give us the equation of the uh, horizontal asymptotes. Looking at this graph, I can say y equals to 1 is one of my asymptotes. x equals to a 2 is going to be your vertical asymptotes. The one thing that we have covered so far is that you can either be given in that form or in that form, but if you are given this form, it is easy to see the asymptote once it is back to that form. Therefore, you must convert, and this is our example there. Once I see was I was born with, oh, this is my asymptote, this is my vertical asymptote, and this is my horizontal asymptote. When I say what is the domain in this graph, you're going to say it will say x is an element of real numbers, but my x cannot be the vertical asymptote. In this case, it's a minus p. What is going to be my domain here? It's going to say x is an element of real numbers right but what is my vertical asymptote now then you say but x agagwazi ukuthalinga ne noba no 2 what is this 2 this 2 are vertical asymptotes my range will say y is an element of real numbers but y may not be equal to the horizontal asymptote. Now, what is my horizontal asymptote in the standard form in this graph? It's a Q. Therefore, Y cannot be equal to a Q in this case. My range is going to say, refer to this one, Y is an element of real numbers, but Y cannot be equal to what now? The horizontal asymptote. What is my horizontal asymptote? It's a one. It means, oh, Y is a no one. To this point, like I'm going to call it two and I'll be two and what here and the one. To find the x-intercept, we make y zero. To find the y-intercept, we make x be zero. Again, while on the hyperbola, it is very important that you understand because with the hyperbola, we have the axis of symmetry. There are two lines of symmetry with the hyperbola. There's a one that is increasing and there's one that is decreasing. Now, I'm saying to you. There are two lines of symmetry with hyperbola yam. But the question will tell us which one are they looking for at that particular time. 